Sudan is a much more rural area than Port-au-Prince, and according to U.S. aid, 80 to 90 percent of this city was completely destroyed by the earthquake. Most people in this area don't have access to clean drinking water. So with this blue top, we will catch rainwater. They're setting up rain catching systems all over Haiti. There's nothing like this around here. These small ceramic filters oh, are making that's a that looks like. The filters attach to a bucket, which makes the rain catching concept simple. Use a tarp to catch rain when it flows into a bucket. Oh, it's a wonderful idea. It's a great idea. Hyacinth Lorette lives in a village far from a clean water source. She has to get drinking water from a river a couple of miles away. People get sick a lot. The ceramic filters are also Rainwater is, of course, the ideal source because it's so clean. But you could use the funkiest stream or river water. Is a key water source for people in this village. That water is one of the nastiest water I have ever seen. It's dark as the color of my pants. Well, these filters are really getting put to the test, that's for sure. That pond is completely nasty. It's dark, dark water with a green tint. You can actually smell the odor coming from it is just horrendous. You, you can smell all the feces from the animals, like this horse. It's dirty water with tadpoles in it. Comparative to what's up top to what there, it's it's amazing how clear this water is, how there's no particles, I don't see any little floaty things. She said that she's gonna try it. I had the wound yet, maybe. Maybe you have a She said that this is God's water. She said this is God's water and it's very good. These filters are really important for the people in this community. Rain is natural and free. Alright, bottoms up, baby. Okay, okay, Mr. Okay. Badwelly. <laughs> Tastes good, great. Tastes like regular water. <laughs> Let me have a what? sip. Let me have a sip. I tell you what, that's it's phenomenal. <laughs>